How's it going, everybody? My name is Daniel from Hazardous Entertainment, and welcome back to some more Kerbal Space Program. Hey, before we move any further, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on, okay? Or else Valentina here gets it, okay? I'm gonna crash her right into the moon if you don't. Welcome to the Mun Part 2. In this tutorial, you're gonna land this vessel on the moon. Ooh, I'm terrified yet intrigued. Your flight plan to get to the surface safely will be as follows. Execute a maneuver at low throttle. I can do that, probably. Burn retrograde at medium throttle reducing. Okay, buddy, you're saying a lot of things again. Ooh. Descend at a measured pace. Sure. Land softly on the Mun's surface. Okie dokies. We're gonna land the whole thing? Do we have an eagle? Okay, right, go to the map view. Got it. Going to the map view. Hey, there we are. That's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Oh, is that, is that what we need? Oh, you put the node there for me, did you? Oh, look at that. So it needs to get real stinking close. Okay, do this at low throttle. Oh, I guess it's time to go. Mm-hmm, getting small. Getting real small. Oh, and... Bingo. Is that good? Okay, so that's moon close, right? Make sure that your parapsis is now set at six kilometers. Uh, yeah, close enough. Adjust it as I taught you. It's at six. Oh, do you need to go even lower than six? You bitch. Oh, okay. Look, I got it right at 5.9. Is that good? Oh, thank God. That's good. Okay, got it. Now we're going to warp to this new lower parapsis. Click next one ready. Oh, here we go. Whee! Going around the planet. Going around the planetoid. All right, hang tight. Be ready to deploy your landing gear. What? Wait, what? Be ready to, oh God. Oh God, we're getting real close. Oh man, that is intimidating looking. You'll be burning at one third throttle. See the marker throttle gauge. Marker throttle gauge. Yeah, one third is right there. If you kill all your speed now, you'll just start falling and pick up more speed again. Reverse gravity turns similar to the way we flew into ascent and go for orbit. You can close now. Hit G to deploy your landing gear. Uh-huh. Use SAS to hit the target. Did that. Don't let your vert... And then throttle up. Okay, here we go. G. One third throttle. Oh, we're doing it. Oh, good lord. So this is what landing looks like. It looks really awful. It looks ugly as sin. I mean, look, I get it. it. Makes sense. Valentina's doing a good job. God, the moon, it's like so far away that not even like scrolling out makes no impact on it. That's how big this thing is. Don't forget that the altimeter up top shows altitude above sea level, not the terrain under you. Correct. Yeah, the terrain under me. Yeah, where? So the moon has sea level? Can I make it show terrain? Oh, yeah. Oh, I can. Uh, no, I can make it show terrain. Ha. I, ha. I vested you, Gene. I am smarter than you thought. Moron. We're gonna land on the moon though successfully, and I haven't even, I haven't even died. I, I mean, I get this. This makes sense now. So why, ugh, it just makes you wonder why land, why orbiting the moon was like such a learning curve for me. Almost there. Now you're gonna be careful. Oh, carefully lower your velocity down to zero as you descend, keeping the descent rate equal to your height divided by ten. Oh no, it's math. Keep the descent rate equal to your height. Twelve oh nine. Divided by 10, 120. Math. So descent rate. What's my descent rate? So, okay, so that one, 168 needs to become 120. Okay, got it. I'm going to slow that down, down, down. Get down there. Hey, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Throttle up. Wait, throttle up. Oh, that's my descent rate. Oh, God, throttle up. Oh, throttle up, 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 throttle up. Throttle down, throttle down, throttle down, throttle down, throttle down, throttle down. Shit, where'd my target go? Oh, why are we doing a backflip? Why are we doing a backflip? Don't do a backflip. Throttle up, throttle up. Throttle down. Stop, why are we doing flips? The hell? Throttle up, throttle up. Uh huh. Oh, stop! Whoa! Why is it doing this? <laughs> Gene, I congratulations! You landed on the surface of the mud. <laughs> That's the funniest thing. Rotate. <laughs> it's rolling. I have a little stump. I can't move it. Oh, I can spin though. Oh, oh, we might be able to pull this off. 
<laughs> oh wait, shit! Wait, can we actually do it? No! No fucking way! No fucking way we can flip this thing! Oh, 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 oh I shouldn't see that. Can we flip it up on it to his end? Oh, wait. Hold on, there's gotta be a way to flip this bad boy up. Wait, what happens if I get kind of up and then I kind of throw... Can you EVA? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, Valentina's gonna EVA! Oh, what? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Valentina, look! Oh, my God! I got Valentina on the surface of the moon! Oh, this is great! Oh, this is brilliant! This is amazing. This is one of the greatest experiences. Hey, Valentina, look at your rocket there. Look at the camera in the corner! So there's, I mean, there's no way back now. I, I think that's what the next tutorial is all about. The next tutorial is all about getting back. But oh, we got on the surface of the moon. I'm gonna enjoy this for a second. Valentina, can you can you sprint? I guess this is sprinting on the moon. Oh, do a moon jump! Do a moon jump! Oh, do a moon jump! Oh, oh, you fell, Valentina. Do a moon jump! Yeah! Oh, oh yeah, you nailed it! Oh, Valentina, you are. My favorite. I'm, I'm well, Jebediah too, but Jebediah is dead. So, what is you okay? You yawning? Oh, bless your heart. You're yawning. Okay. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, let's. In that scenario, I'm getting really confident about starting a campaign. I think we'll be able to start a campaign pretty soon. All right. So let's do. We're doing from the mun. Cause that's I need to figure out how to do that because there is more gravity on uh, on Earth than uh, you expect. Hey, that's how you're supposed to land that thing. In our last lesson, we landed this craft on the moon. Hopefully your pilot had a chance to stretch your legs. Yes, she did. She was very excited about it. Oh, okay. So I, maybe I should try EVA where I can actually get back in the shuttle. Okay, so there's Valentina. She's going down the ladder. Is that good? Climb out. Oh, oh, Valentina, don't do that. Oh, the textures. So how do I get back? Turn on her jetpack and fly her up to the pod again? You don't mean Valentina! Whoa! Oh, uh, uh, this is amazing! Okay, F to grab. Yeah. All right, let's board this vessel. Okay, that's super cool. I like that a lot. Throttle up, then immediately pitch over down the 90 degree heading line, which is east. Following the marker. Okay. All right, here we go. All right. Blast off. All right, follow that marker. Jeez, that was quite the turn you made there. All right, where's our apopsis? All right, 50 or more. I'll cut the throttle for you if you get distracted and the apopsis goes above 100,000. That's fine. Apopsis, we're going places. Okay, if your vertical velocity relative to your grain goes negative, I'll have you pitch up to counteract that. Oh, yeah, that would have been bad. Yeah, I guess it means the craters. Oh, shit. Okay, throttle is cut, so let's coast on up. I've created a circularization node for you, but in real life, you're planning yourself. Hey, I can't manage every little thing around here. You can. I wish you would, in fact. Okay, so we're in this orbit now, and where's our ship? Our ship's coming around. Okay, so once we get to that maneuver, we're gonna go big. And I gotta circularize that. What's this? At 100,000, so I just gotta circularize it. I can do that. I learned exactly how to do that in the orbit. To orbit. We're almost done. Rotate your craft to align it with the blue. Yep. All right. Mm hmm. And oh, 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 almost. Oh, here we go. And touchdown. Got it. To return from a moon to the body it orbits, or to eject from a planet into solar orbit, you must reach escape velocity. I, I, see, I was successfully doing that all last time. I, I, oof, oof, was I successfully doing it. Drag the prograde handle until you have, yep. Where do you want this one? Doesn't matter where. Does not matter where. Cool. Uh, well, I'm gonna fling it, I'm gonna do it in front of us here. Add a maneuver. And the prograde handle. Yep. Is this good? Oh, that looks pretty good. Now drag the node itself and watch as your curb and parapsis changes. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, how about that? You've created an ejection maneuver, which, despite being prograde in lunar orbit, gives you 
a retrograde kick in terms of eventual Kerbin orbit. You can use some of the principle of to travel to other planets from Kerbin. Oh yeah, I want to get my parapsis as close as possible. I'm getting the hang of it. No more silliness. No more, what's a parapsis? What's an apopsis? Oh, you're making up words now, Gene. He's not making up words. You're just a moron. Here we go. And now. Sure, why not? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's turning into it. Here we go. Here we go. Uh-huh. And... Munner escape. There we go! Alright, we're on a perfect path for it. Let's... Let us warp to Mun Escape. Oh boy, are you guys excited? To escape the Mun? There we go! <laughs> I made it, I did it. Okie dokie. I want to warp here, right before the Parapsis. Whoa! Wait, whoa, what are you doing? Why did it do a second round? I don't know why it went around a second time. There's MM. I don't know what MM is. I know what KM is. I don't know what an MM is. All right. They've swapped places, so now we're worrying about our parapsis. And our parapsis is now... What do I need to be? Less than 120, you say? A little bigger. How about that? There you go. All right. Now let's make that burn. I'm sure someone smarter than me is like, Oh, you could have just done this, and then you would be fine with uh, that, and then you wouldn't have to wait so long, or you wouldn't have to do a second video. But you know what? I'm learning. I'm figuring it out. Let's watch it rotate. Flippity flam. Oh, flimbity flam. Let's watch it from here. We haven't, we don't do much viewing of it from here, which we should, we should, because there's no point not to. All right, here we go. 20 seconds. Three, two, one, X. There we go. God, this is fun. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. Whee. Okay, good enough. All right, now, all right, right on the parapsis, and maneuver. We're good? We're good? I think we're good. Now, do we have enough fuel? Man, we're running low on fuel. Oh, no, this is the time. You just have you don't have a heat shield on the capsule. It's just barely possible to survive a trans munner right, re-entry without one. It's very dangerous. What? It mounts flush with the pod. The ship won't be able to slow down as well as the pod by itself would. Oh, for that reason, your craft has a drogue parachute mounted to the side. What? Oh, is that? Okay. Is there a parachute somewhere? Yeah, wherever. So once the drogue is doing its part of the job, we'll continue. Do I have to press something for that? I'm just going to have to re-enter orbit. All right, here we go. Oh, is it? Oh, am I not good? I guess I got to get below 80, right? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I definitely gotta get below 80. All right, let's save up some energy here. 67 will do. All right, you're getting close to it. Let's do it. Okay, that should do me now. So if I go back here, I think I did that right. I mean, I'm not upset if I didn't, but I'm a little upset because now I'm out of fuel. What's our altitude? Oh, yeah, okay, so we're below, so this guy in the comments said if I'm below 73 or 80,000 meters, I'm technically falling. So that's, I'm going to believe him. So if I go over here, do I need to decouple? Maybe I should be decoupling. Yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah, that's probably a good call, right? Oh, that's probably a bad call because I'm still technically in orbit. Unless my orbit is going down. Yeah, my altitude's going down. Oh, I'm gonna land. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm just doing it kind of the backwards way of doing it. All right, well, dudes, Valentina. Valentina, come down. Valentina, I'm gonna scream, Valentina. Okay, Drew parachute is stage. Once the main parachute also shows safe stage again to arm or deploy it as well, then we'll continue. Is it safe? With everything staged and activated, there's nothing more to do but wait. Okay, where's, I don't see the parachute. Is this the parachute? Heat shield. You said we didn't have a heat shield. Oh, this thing. Oh, interesting. Oh, man. That thing is getting hot. Oh, that thing is getting toasted. Oh, good lord. That thing is getting toasted. Uh, we got an issue. It's getting toasty up in here, and Valentina is having a time. Oh, why? Two things are getting overheated. The parachute is overheated. Hmm. Yeah, okay, maybe that was... Oh, that was what I was supposed to do. 
Right? That is what I was supposed to do. Have it like that. And now things aren't getting overheated anymore. Because you had the heat shield is there to really, really take all the hot. Isn't it theoretically impossible to land on land from re-entry because of just how much of the Earth's surface is water? And I assume the same applies for Kerbin. Valentina's dancing really fast up. Which means she's good. It means I'm doing good things. It means good things are happening. Oh my god, we successfully re-entered. It was terrifying. What a horrible experience that was towards the middle there. Where I was like, I don't know if I'm doing this right. No, no speed up time. We gotta land. We gotta kersploosh. Oh, here we go. It's kersplooshing time. Hooray! Congratulations, you've safely returned back from the mine. A ticker tape parade would be held in your honor if this weren't a training simulation. Yeah, well, it's gonna not be in a little bit, so. Okay, let's... I got some time. Let's learn how to dock. Okay, in order to dock with the other ship, the first thing you'll have to do is catch up to the rendezvous point. So how do I find a rendezvous? Green ascending and descending nodes now show the points where the plane of orbit crosses. What? Oh, I see. I got to line up that orange thing. So, okay, so you see how that pink thing is like catching up with that one? So now I got to find a time when they meet, right? Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh, Lou. Oh, good lord on almighty. So much is going on right now. Oh, God. And we've entered the fifth dimension. I didn't realize we were doing different zigzagging orbits. Okay, I think I'm going to have to actually try this one on a different episode. So so next episode, we'll, we'll attempt this and then maybe start our career there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and also leave a comment down below telling us what you want to see next. But as always, my name is Daniel, and I'll see you guys next time.